Bangalore Chamber of Commerce. President told one of the Indian saints, you should not give to the poor anything free because they won't know the value of it. You should at least charge them. And this wonderful lady got up and she said, you men, the Bangalore Chamber of Commerce, you see a beautiful girl on the street and you see, <gasps> you look at the beauty and you say, and God is supposed to send you a bill, how much you owe God. John Keats, born on 31st October 1795, Moorgate in London, died on 23rd February 1821, Rome in the Papal States, was an English poet of the second generation of the Romantic poets with the Lord Byron and Percy Shelley. John Keats said, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness increases. It will never pass into nothingness. A beauty, when you look at the sky, the people who enjoy the reality of life will enjoy looking at the sky. So what a beautiful, I was taking the flight from Kathmandu to New Delhi, from New Delhi to Bangalore. So Kathmandu to New Delhi, I took the uh, window seat and I was shocked at the beauty of the mountain. Wow! <laughs> Enough! Even if I die tomorrow, that is okay. Such was the beauty when you see the mountains, the lakes. It was pedicured and manicured beauty. Hence, the beauty was a one reality which the church, the temple, and the masjid, and all the saints and the gurus kept on suppressing, telling, don't look at the beauty, don't get, inf get infected by the beauty of a beautiful girl. Yes, they are suppressing. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. When you see the beauty, it is joy. It's called Ananda Paramananda. You have no uh, meaning. To express that Ananda Paramananda, it's ecstatic, it is uh, orgasmic, it is blasting, it stops you for a minute, it is meditative, it is meditation, it stops you for a second, the past, present, future stops. You become a nobody. Shocking beauty, you sometimes. A girl, whether it's a girl or a shocking beauty of a beautiful building. Oh, a shocking beauty of a child. <laughs> the smartness of our film actors. Yes. It's a beauty. Yes. It's a beautiful flower. You use the word beautiful. <laughs> its loveliness only increases. The moment you start appreciating, you start looking deeper. Not with something to rob. When you look at the beauty, when your mind crosses the limit for something to grab, to rob, then it is not beauty, you will know. Its loveliness increases because your strength increases, your wealth increases, your beauty increases, everything increases, your bank balance increases. It will never pass into nothingness. I have nothing in my house. I am a nobody. People are crying. When you start loving, you will pedicure and manicure your house. You make your house beautiful. When you serve the food also, the serving itself, the presentation itself is so beautiful. You feel of eating the food and it digests. Such is the beauty. That's why every saint has told them to practice Tritak. Tritak means to keep looking without blinking. Yes. And increases the eye power. You look at the eyes of your daughter or son or your wife or your father or mother or grandfather, grandmother, and then you start to penetrating that look into the beautiful sky, into the beautiful forest and into the land. It penetrates and you and you and your daughter become, you and your son becomes one because such was the beauty that I can capture. And then the drawing happens of its own, yes, and it's a beautiful drawing. It is priceless. 
then you can understand the beauty of your family you will connect to the joint family because its loveliness increases you connect to the joint to the family tree john kids said a beautiful thing of beauty is a joy for it its loveliness increases it will never pass into nothing